So, okay, let's see here. I'm looking straight to harmonize. It's that's another great card. Uh, Pyromancer, perfect except all it was better. It's better in this set than in any of the uh, any in M10 or M11. Uh, there is also a Jodas Avenger, which is really good. It's uh, you can view it as a 4-4 unblockable because you tend to give it double strike and shadow and just bash in. But harmonize, uh, drawing three cards is really good in green deck. Um, yeah, the cards to the uh, were, were to consider in this pack were Prodigal Paramancer, Maya Boa, not so much. Harmonize, which I'm going to take. Jodas Avenger, which I'm I would love it if it came back, and Arada is fine as well, it's uh, acceleration, but it's not something that you really need, uh, that I really need. Oh, look here, Damnation. I'm going to pick that. I wonder what my uh, what the other guy took. Um, yeah, Damnation. Um, the Wrath of God in black, it's really good. I'm not sure if it's worth anything. I'm going to make a quick, quick check. I'm guessing that it's not. Damnation. Damnation. Selling for four. So it's worth several ticks as well. I'm happy with that. Other cards. Shape of Parasite is really good. Uh, the Meteor is fine. Uh, 13 damage kills anything. Giant Dust Wasp is great. So in this pack, uh, also we have the Skirk Shaman and the Seal of Primordian. Um, Cradle to Grave is... it can be good sometimes, but uh, Damnation is just better and we will get something back from that pack. <coughs> and uh, this time we've got Brute Force, not something that we want to play. We're going to play the Evolution Charm, get, uh, getting ourselves uh, a land of uh, any kind, and otherwise returning creatures, fine. Flying can be useful. Uh, erratic Mutation, uh, the blue decks play it because if you are blue-white, you, for example, you really need the removal, and this is, even though it's uh, situational, it's good. Magus is. <laughs> I've never seen uh, ever seen it been playing been played except for some uh, dredge decks actually played it. It's so easy, uh, dies so easily, and in this kind of set, it, it uh, in this format, it's not worth. It's not worth it. Roiling Horror. Toughness equal to your life total minus the life total of most life. Uh, not going to play it. Just forgot what it did. Erratic Mutation. Not going to play that. I think this time it's Joda's Avenger. As I said, playing several colors is no problem. And Joda's Avenger is really good. And if you, if I get, get that, this guy off with Trump the Domains, it's bound to be uh, lethal. Erratic Mutation is an alternative, but I think that between Damnation and a couple of Assassinates and the Eternity Snare, which I still have available, I think it's, it will be fine. Another evolution charm. I think that will be the pick. Uh, don't remember seeing this being played either, even though it should be fine. Off the start gives plus two plus two vigilance. White Mane Lion, it was really good back in the days because you had the uh, option of 
saving creatures that still dealt damage, damage on the stack. In this pack it's between Shape of Parasite and Evolution Charm. Uh, actually I'm going to take the Shape of Parasite and the hope that I get some... Let's see, is it too late for those? I don't remember if I can get the Suspend uh, mana, mana Fixing, but Shape of Parasite. Removal on a stick is really good. Uh, this time... Uh, worthless. I don't want my opponents to play Necrotic Sliver against me because this it makes it so hard to do anything profitable. They can just kill off anything. And the Sliver deck, you want to rob them of their best creatures and this is definitely one of those. For our sakes, Keen's and Ethan, this is uh, a dubious pick, but I'm going to take, uh, make the hate. Keen Sense is okay. The, the white cards in this pack are much better than anything else. So I'm just going to hate the Necrotic Sliver. Molten Firebird. This one isn't all that good. Uh, Aquamorph Entity. As is, it's looking more like I'm going to cut red and play blue instead. Um, I think it's between the Piracy Charm, the Essence Warden, and the Aquamorph Entity. And I think. Uh, let's see here. Piracy Charm, the versatility is... I'm going to take the versatility here. Uh, this pack... I can do some things with the Tomatergist. Apart from killing others, other defenders, you, uh, I can like invert my Tree Folk to make more da deal more damage. Even though that's not optimal, it's still possible. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to take the Bettering Sliver for the Sliver deck. I'm making some hate drafts here, but I think that I can get away with it, seeing as I have. If I. Even if I hide. Let's see here. Uh, not very good. Oh, we got the Skirk Shaman back. Well, I'm going to pick Wistful Thinking. Uh, I t took Wistful Thinking because it's a uh, control card, blue control. You make your opponent draw two cards and then discard his whole hand more often than you target yourself with it. Uh, hunting wilds, searching to forests. Oh, what did I get? Can't see anything. My bad. I should have paid more attention there. Uh, yeah, I'll take this here. As well as I'll take braids. Sliver. In the last pack, we're looking to pick up creatures. That's what we're missing, as well as maybe uh, we'd like some. Uh, ah, some fixing. I think that should be the choice. Imperious Sour is just. Uh, just large, but I, I think let's see here, we have one fixing and one draw spell so far, and I th I'm, it's between the Ica Slick uh, I think that more removal is what we need even though we are dying to get some quality fixing 
and some quality creatures. Death Rattle is great, but Echo Slick, uh, instant speed removal and drawing cards, if you get that far, and you always have the possibility of cy cycling. So Echo Slick it will be, and I hope that I'll get an Edge of Autumn, because we we'll really need it now. Uh, So what's in this pack for us? Lancer's Diffusion is fine. And hmm. this one is really if you get the aura deck it's fine. Otherwise it's a bit clunky. Even though I have a problem on getting rid of it. Uh, let's see, flash, return target, sliver to its owner's hand, wizard cycling. Do we have any wizards? I doubt that. Shapeshifter. Deep Kevin Imp is fine in the. There's an ad aggressive deck. Cryptic Analyd, scry 1, scry 2, scry 3. That will be the pick. We need ways of. So running through our our deck, another echo slick as well as ghost fire and utopia icon, but echo slick is pick. I missed some picks here because my cat bathed on our floor. This pick will be Empath. Hmm. Augur. Uh, I think that's the best card. Regeneration can be really good. Uh, yeah, edge, perfect. Uh, Sarcomite. Yeah. Hiding Corlash, hiding braids. Let's see. I'll take the rare here. Really don't see any reason to take anything else. Uh, Ireland Sliver. I'm just picking cards. I don't. I don't think I'll be playing anything that I pick right now. So I'm just running through the motions of picking cards that I think I don't want people to play against me. Uh, Fool's Demise, is, this is not the deck for it. Uh, Wistful Thinking, Gathering the Axe as well. Ray Peril, not going to play that. So yeah, we've got a bit a clunkier deck, but I think it's fine. Chronomantic Escape. Yeah. Cutting that. One, two, three, four, five, six removal spells. Needing to cut one more card from this deck for it to be playable, I think. And goodbye. That card will. 
I'm thinking that it will be the seal pre-board and then 